Week 9 of the MLS season, and each week we'll take a look back at some of the most controversial moments of the weekend. I'm Brian Dunseth, and this is Instant Replay. We start in Philadelphia, and Anibal Godoy sees yellow in the 35th minute as he catches Sebastian Latou with a left forearm across the face. Godoy would see red for his second yellow in the 59th minute for this tug on Tranquilo Barnetta. Harsh? Maybe. But you can tell by Godoy's reaction, he knew immediately he committed an unnecessary foul that would see his team play down a man on the road for the last 30 minutes. Questions about Jovan Jones offside that leads to Jordan Morris game winner? Check out crew left back Waylon Francis, who was out of frame on the initial broadcast shot. Francis keeps Jones onside. Out to Yankee Stadium for a wild one. David Villa's beautiful finish off Andrea Pirlo's corner, but how did Villa find himself so open? The answer, brilliant. Watch Brilliant and Tim Parker start tussling near the top of the six yard box. It continues across the face of David Osted's goal and straight off the training ground as David Villa spins away from Matias Laba, who gets caught on the wrong side of both Parker and Brilliant, who puts his arm out to slow down Laba. Laba goes to ground, Villa finds the back of the net. 62nd minute and NYC FC up 2-1 when Kakuta Mane splits Federico Bravo and Ethan White on the far side of the 18. Ethan White holds on to the left hip of Kakuta Mane who goes to ground in the box. Easy call for referee Soren Stoika. Out to Rio Tinto Stadium just three minutes in when Jordan Allen takes his second touch into the path of Dynamo left back to Marcus Beasley. Beasley goes ball first. It's not lunging or airborne. Reckless, maybe. Excessive, no. Right choice by the referee, Nima Sagafi, to show yellow. Out to KC in the 68th minute, and the score level at 1-1 when referee Chris Penso shows Ashley Cole yellow for time-wasting, something usually not seen so early in a match. Literally seconds later, Cole would see his second yellow for this tackle on Benny Fellhaber. Cole goes through the ball with studs exposed and goes through the exposed left calf of Fellhaber. Finally, this was the weekend of the pick and roll during set pieces. From Brilliant on Laba during Villa's goal to Ronald Zubar on FC Dallas's Carlos Gruesa that leads to Lloyd Sam's goal to Josie Altidore's pick on Liam Ridgewell that leads to Drew Moore off the post. Expect the microscope to be closer next weekend on set pieces and corners. In case you missed it, Liam Ridgewell is back for the Portland Timbers, and he made sure every Toronto FC attacker knew about it. First, Ridgewell collides with Josie Altidore inside the penalty area, missing the touch on the ball and taking a forearm to the face. No call from referee Baldomero Toledo, who set the tone early. Then, Ridgewell hip-checks Giovinco off the ball during a Toronto transition with a hard tactical foul and looks to have clipped the foot of the Toronto FC playmaker off the ball when the two came together in the midfield. But Ridgewell would finally see yellow in the 62nd minute after getting dragged out wide and committing the foul on Endo. The physical presence is back for the Portland Timbers, and every team has its enforcer. Timbers up 1-0 in the 21st minute when Will Johnson goes two-footed into his challenge on the ball as Diego Valeri goes to ground as well. No card shown, not even a foul called by referee of Baldomero Toledo, and I'm okay with it as Toledo allowed the game to be physical from the opening whistle. At worst, it's a yellow if there's significant contact, and I don't think there is as Valeri would eventually get the game winner. That's all this week. What do you think? Let us know using the hashtag instant replay and in the comments below. I'm Brian Dunseth. See you next week.